to my channel keeping up with kia p i am your girl the crafter aka kia the crafter i'm kia p and welcome to my channel okay where we do all things fun okay today's project is going to be a resin purse but we're gonna do something a little bit different today we're gonna just try something different i seen a um a project watching a youtube channel a long time ago i don't remember who channel it was because it was years ago and I was like wow that's dope so I'm gonna try that same effect on our resin purse but before we get started go ahead because this is gonna be something completely different but we still gonna work with resin we still gonna resin it out we gonna customize it we gonna make it so dope I just want to show y'all something different okay so before we get started go ahead and hit that subscribe button right below Go ahead and hit it. Go ahead and hit it. All right. And then give me some thumbs up. Okay. Give me some thumbs up. Okay. And hit that notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new video content. Because you want to be up on the new new. Okay. All right. So with no more further ado, we're going to go ahead and take you down. We're going to go ahead and get started with our video. Let's go. Okay. So what I have here is a resin purse shell remember i told you guys they come with these little plastic shells and so i've already uh spray painted this with my base color which is white and i chose white because white lets all of the colors uh show up and pop so i wanted to put the make the base white and so then the next thing is to add color to it and so yes guys we got color we got color and so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna randomly graffiti it with some orange some green some teal some deep purple and some yellow and we might throw we might throw that metallic blue in there and let me see if i can find the lid for that so that you can see that color because it's super pretty but if not i'm not gonna waste your time looking for the top okay we're gonna keep this party moving yeah well you'll see it it's like a real metallic blue if you caught that resin purse that i did before it's that color okay but nevertheless we're gonna go ahead and uh, spray paint our shells so give me a minute and I'm gonna get us set up okay guys so I got us all set up outside <clears throat> on my back porch I do have a mask on I just took it off so I can talk I have a set up out here we're gonna go ahead and start with our first color and we're outside because we're using a spray paint and we don't want to get um messed up i've done that before it's not a good feeling it took me about three days to get it back together i will never ever do that again so i'm gonna pull my mask up <coughs> and we're gonna go ahead and spray with our first color that's the orange <laughs> it's the yellow now I'm not spraying them in the same direction but I'm spraying them next to the same color on each side if that makes sense <coughs> That's a strong, that blue is strong. I'm just spraying. I 
giving it some color. Because why not, huh? Oh, I'm missing my one color, the metallic blue. <clears throat> and that's how we gonna do that. Now I'm gonna come back <clears throat> and do around the edges what the color is. What is she doing? But I think this is going to be real pretty. <coughs> and I'm coming off the paper. And you just see how it just giving it some vibrant color. color I want to be the last color or what color I want to pop but I'm making sure I get the color around the edges <clears throat> as y'all can tell I'm a person that likes color colors this blue is real strong. Lightly feather that in. <clears throat> super, super pretty. What is that? Okay, that's yellow. <clears throat> and so I gotta come back with the metallic blue right there, right there. Soften that and make sure I got all around the sides. And this looks pretty. This is cracking here. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit <clears throat> before I come back and hit it one more time. But we're going to let this sit and then I'm going to show y'all the next technique because we're not done. We're not done. And it covered up my purple, but <clears throat> and I really like that purple. So I'm gonna come back and soften up my yellow. Okay, we're gonna let that sit, let that dry, and then we're gonna come back with this next part, okay? And it's super dope. So we just want this to dry real good. I'm gonna leave these paints out here. Nah, no, better not. You just never know. But we're going to let this dry, and then we're going to come back, okay? Pick it up and go from there, okay, guys? So stay tuned. All right, guys, we are back, and our purse is dry. As you can see. And so our next thing that we're going to do, let me move you. Bring them down just a little bit. Yeah, okay. So the next thing that we're gonna do is the next step. And we're gonna pour some Dawn de Soap. Drizzle it over the top in the direction in which we want it to go. I wanna go the long way. So I'm gonna start. Try 
Brazilian. Back and forth. Like so. I'm gonna do the same on this one. With the Dawn dish soap. Okay. Just like that. And then got my black spray paint. spray painted black. Y'all, I don't know. I'm gonna find out. <laughs> I'm gonna let that dry. You can kind of see the effects of what it may turn out to be. I think it's gonna be super, super dope. But we'll see in a minute. So we're going to let that sit and dry. So we'll come back with our next step, okay? Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Okay, guys, we are back with the dried spray paint. And Dawn, we have to wash this soap off of here and see what it has. But that's how it looks. And so I'm going to go and wash this off. And I'll come back and show you guys what we have. Okay? Sit tight. All right, guys. We are back. That came out so pretty. That's after we washed it off and everything. So now we gonna, what we're about to do is put our resin top coat over it. Okay? Um, this particular mold has these... I'll bring it as close as I can these four dots right there and so what I did on this one is I taped it from behind so when I pour the resin hopefully it'll just fill up I'm gonna do the same for this one so I got some good old trusty duct tape I'm hoping it, it and if I have to leave it there that's fine because it's just a small little piece and I taped it up so I'm gonna get us some resin going and we're going to do our, our um, resin pour over it. And these is the cups that I set it up on. So these little cups be coming in handy. They come in our kits. I use them to stack as a platform for my pores and they come right or loose from the resin okay we got them right there I'm gonna get us some resin going I'm gonna pour about four ounces total so two of A and two of B we're gonna let it sit for that 10 minutes and then we're going to get to pouring. So give me a minute. All right, so I got two ounces of A, two ounces of B. We're stirring it up. Getting it mixed up. I just wanted you guys to see me mixing the resin. Okay. I'm going to, after I get it mixed up, I'm going to let it sit to the side. And that gives you uh, time to go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. So you can be notified. Ooh, this person's pretty. 
so you can be notified when we upload new content okay this is going to be pretty I got so many things I want to do with this type of um, pour um, it, it takes less resin per se um, like for instance if I don't want to put no wording on it then these four ounces will be it far as a resin purse or custom made purse um so you're looking at a total of eight ounces to make this purse if you do a double pour with wording and whatnot so it's kind of equivalent to a pour a poured purse because it's seven ounces and you can also go ahead honestly and you can only do you can do it with one pour because you can Put the wording on here now and just pour it like that so yeah four ounces all right so that's mixed we're gonna let this sit for 10 minutes which give us time give you time enough to hit that subscribe button give me some thumbs up okay thumbs up and hit the notification bell so that you can be notified when we upload new content and you can see what we got going on we got a live coming up sunday october the third at six o'clock p.m central time seven o'clock p.m eastern standard time four o'clock p.m pacific time um we're going to be doing a round clutch resin purse live live is come resin with me and so i hope you all tune in and see that this sunday i'm no i'm gonna post this video before this sunday so sunday october the 3rd 2021 we will be doing a live i will also be taking donations to uh help purchase a, a, a clutch mold that is really expensive so whatever donations i i'm grateful i'm grateful okay i don't care if it's two dollars a dollar whatever you can please and i'm gonna share that uh the first uh project with that mode with you guys as well on a live so our for our live will be this sunday october the third six o'clock p.m central time seven o'clock p.m Eastern Standard Time and 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific Time, okay? This Sunday, we letting our resin sit. So, as we let it sit, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right, so we have let that sit for 10 minutes, and I hope that you subscribe in that time frame. Oh, 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 hold on. We lost our light. Hold on one second. Okay, well, I've lost a lot of light, so I'm going to just go ahead and pour it. Um, yeah. Knock out some of the bubbles. I just hope it come out as pretty as it looks without the resin.
attachment so just try to ease it over because this is square so it don't have that roundness like the um, other purse has so you just kind of have to assist it per se this is so pretty brushing it over the edges make sure y'all attend that live on Sunday so that y'all can see how the round clutch purse works we'll all be learning it together we're gonna have a nice good old time and I'm looking forward to interacting with all of you and seeing what God has for us all on that wonderful Sunday afternoon. I'm just taking a little extra, pouring it in spots where it could be void. I'm going to come over and do the same for this one. covered all over this purse is every, I got a dress that will just go so perfect with this that's probably where I got this idea from but I, I can't say that for sure because I hadn't never worn a dress I wasn't thinking about it until actually after I made it so but after I made it it reminds I was like man this would be nice with that dress Optics, I just might do it with the dress. And I'm just cleaning it up on the sides, making sure that it's resin on the sides. was all done with spray paint so it was super simple spray paint Dawn did so to get this effect I'm just making sure that there's no voice anywhere and you can just scrape with them ran off and put it back on top it is going to level itself out so let me do this and then i'll come back and show y'all the finish how it looks once it's all completely dried and cured these i do not put in the resin oven i tried to do that with one with the last one actually and i had to report it again because it left so many uneven voids and stuff in it but after the, the second pour it leveled out a lot and then the third pour it didn't even look like it was there so I don't I wouldn't put these in my resin oven to cure I would just let these drip and cure just like this it just it, it seemed to do better than having it cure as fast so this one, the, the purses that they just kind of have to sit, these particular ones. So they take a little bit more effort. Even though they're easier, they just take a little bit more time. I haven't quite perfected putting it in the, um, in the oven and it come out right. I did with one, so I thought it would have been okay, but... And that was like after the second pour, so that could have had something to do with it. That was the very first pour, and it just wasn't sticking, so it didn't work. This is looking real pretty. Okay, I'm going to hit it with the fire, knock out any excess bubbles we got, and then 
we should be all set to put it to the side and let it dry so stay tight we'll come back with the finished product all right guys we are back we're gonna get ready to install our side shields into our frame here for the purse i'm gonna go ahead and mark off from corner top of the corner and make a little triangle I'm gonna do the other side, trying to keep it as even as I can. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button and y'all hit that like button so you can be, and the bell, so you can be notified when we upload new video content as we are uploading videos every week. All right, so I have two, two pieces here, but I only needed to mark one and I'm going to line them up together, take my trusty scissors and go ahead and cut right along that line that I just made. And I'm going to start keeping those little, um, cause I think I'm going to do a purse. I'm going to do a purse with them. These little triangle pieces that I'll be cutting off. I think I'm going to keep them in incorporate them into a purse so I'm gonna take off the side shield on this side take off the plastic take this one on this side too take off the plastic on this side and then we're gonna go ahead and install these and that's glue the, the shield the shells in and we'll be all set with this purse thank y'all so much for those of you that have subscribed so far i greatly appreciate it and i have my tape here my double-sided tape we're going to go ahead and measure off one side, like so, and cut. And that'll give you enough for two sides. So you just cut it right up the middle. Right up the middle, like so. And that's going to give you two pieces, set one to the side, and we're going to work with this one. Lining up against the edge, peel it back, and then put it inside your side shield and fold it in. So, go this way. And I like to push it up against the back of it so I can get it all the way down in there and then take it forward. And press. Fold it in, get ready to do the other side. Fold it in. My tape. Once you um, get a method down, this method it is quite simple after that. It's literally just doing it. I'm going to test it, make sure it open up, and there you have it, side shield. All right. All right. Come back and do the other side, and I'm gonna cut some of this off on the end here, just to keep it nice and clean a little bit. And I'm gonna use a smaller pair of scissors, and I'm gonna just cut kind of like a little triangle out, just so it won't be rubbing. Up a 
get the sign. Open it up again. Make sure it's all good. And it'll fold in like so. And then that way that gives it a more cleaner look. Okay. We're going to install the other side real quick. And then put our shells in. Let that dry, and I will show you guys the final look. Same thing, we're going to do the same thing on this side. Cut our piece, measure out our piece. Cut it. Right up the center. Place it down along the edge. Okay. Peel that double-sided tape off. You can find this at the Dollar Tree. I will put the description in the, put it in the description box below if I can make sure I remember to do do that. I'll be trying to think of all the materials that I use. And I go to and then press it right up against that side. Fold it inward, and you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Again, once you once you get a method, it, it just goes by real quick. Peel that off. And place it in the frame. And then we're gonna go ahead and put our side shield, I put our um, shells in that we designed. Glue that in, let it sit, and get it ready for the market. And so I'm going to have to take a little corner off, and that's okay. Again, I'm going to cut in a triangle so I can cut it out. Open it up and again another clean clean side. Alright, so let's glue our shells in. Alright, before we glue the shells in, we gotta knock off the the little um drips from it from when we poured the resin. So I'm taking my trusty scissors or nippers wire nippers and I'm just going along the edge getting those off and we also have to put the felt on the inside to line the purse so I forgot about that part but that don't take but a second as well so we're gonna knock that out real quick and just let it all sit and dry Just knocking off those those little little drops right there. And do the same thing with this one. Study nipping it off. We almost finished. And then we do 
just taking the nippers and nipping these little the drops from the resin that dripped over when we poured it so that it'll go into the frame nice and smooth almost there last one Now we're going to put the felt inside real quick. Get my Mod Podge and brush. I have my felt right here. So I'm going to unroll it. I got this at the Dollar Tree. It came in a roll by Crafter Square for one buck. And I picked it up like, you know what, I can use that for something. So here we have it. And I'm just going to lay my, my, front, my shell down on top and take my scissors and cut it out. Cut it right along. edge of the frame and then I'm gonna do the same thing y'all this is so pretty this is gorgeous this purse is gonna turn out so pretty I can't wait to the finish the finish look all right so we have those cut out we're going to get ready to line them up in the inside and cut off the excess that we don't want, okay? So I'm going to use my trusty old Mod Podge we have here. Put some right in there. And I left that little piece of tape that I had in there. I left that in there so that um it don't show the holes on the other side. All right, got my little brush here. We're going to spread the Mod Podge uh, over the frame like so. Go over the little tab we have in there. So we're going to cover that with the felt. Be real generous to make sure it's evenly spread it all around. Get them corners and up along the edges real good make sure it's spread evenly and we don't have no spots where it will be oversaturated pretty good pretty evenly spread it you gotta get in every video it never fails that he has to do something in my videos that's okay though I'm going to lay that like so. I'm not going to press it down as of yet until I can measure out how much I'm going to need on this other end. Cut that off. And then I'm going to cut my slits into the corners so I can fold it and tuck it perfectly in the corners. A little slit. This is going to help you help the felt lay smooth. Okay, so now what we're going to do is 
lay it on in there. And that's going to dry so we don't have to worry about that. You just want to make sure that you get to these corners nice and smooth. And then what I do is I take one and I turn it and I lay it in there and then take the other and cross it, cross it in. And then I'll cut whatever I don't need out. And do the same for this side. Smooth it out and then I'll cut what I don't need. So take one and smooth it around the curve and then once it's dry I'll go in there and cut cut it out. And then that's one. And we'll let this dry in front of the fan. Do the other one. Same thing. Measure it out. No wait, let me put the mash pods in there. Use that mouse podge. Paint that in there. I was thinking earlier because I'm I'm doing a live to get money to raise money for a very expensive mold that don't require a frame. It's a frameless mold. And I'm was thinking about the side shields and how that what they will attach to. So I don't I'm I'm anxious to to be able to get it. I hope that the live go well that we um raise enough money to get the mold because I really am curious as to how it works. Is it worth, is it really worth someone saving and investing in it? So we're gonna find all that out from your true, a true crafter who gonna keep it real all the way. I'm excited about that and I'm gonna cut off the excess that we don't need cut my slits in the corners small scissors are but I'll find them when it's time to trim it's easier to trim with the small scissors than these big ones so all right we're gonna press making sure that it's all the way up along the edges again folding your corners into each other And then once this dry, we'll put in our, put our shells into, install our shells into the frame. Because we got to make sure it's some type of um, liner inside so that it'll absorb sound. Everything won't sound like it's clunking around in there. And it just makes it look finished and polished for the customer. Like you, you know, you really put your a lot into it and really care. All right, and so that's that. It's going to dry clear. So we're going to put this in front of the fan. We'll come back, put it into the frames. All right, guys, we are back and our size, our shields are dry. We're going to go ahead and install them to the frame. I'm going to take my trusty 
fix all glue. And get ready to apply the shells to the frame. Start at the top, start high and drag all the way around into the grooves. And once you um, get it in the grooves, we're gonna go ahead and attach our shells right on in there. I'm running a little bit low on our glue. That's okay, we can make it around. little bit out before I open up another one Just got a little bit more to go. Finish out with our E6000 because we are out of fix all. And this, I'm going to pour nice and tall because it comes out real, real thick. Just gonna start a stream and let that stream just run all right that is sufficient for that side all right and your before we put these in here I'm going to trim trim the edges off so let me get my smaller scissors. And we're going to trim off the excess on the corners just like that. Don't take much. Can't breathe. I'm just taking my scissors and trimming just around it. It comes off really easy, so you don't have to do a whole lot. It's fairly thin, so it trims really well. I really like it. It's not too thick, so it's flexible, it's pliable. About me being left-handed, it's kind of hard to get those little pieces. All right, we are set. All right, we're gonna get ready to put these in. 
yay all right so these have a groove they have like a little cutout that's gonna go on your top part and then the straight edge goes at the bottom and we're gonna pop it right into place like so turn it over We're going to do the same thing to this side. This E6000 is real, 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 real thick. So you want to, that first one, just let it fall right on in there. And just keep it moving all the way around. Once you get that beam going, it's, it's easy. You can just go all the way around nice and simple like that. Cap it off. Come with our other side. And pop it in there. set this to the side let it dry go ahead and hit that subscribe button hit that like button hit the thumbs up notification bell so you could be notified when we upload new video content i will come back and show you the finished product make sure you continue to watch and you subscribe and we'll show you the finished product at the end catch you in a moment okay guys we are back with the finished product make sure you hit that subscribe button below okay go ahead and give me some thumbs up all right and hit that notification bell so you can be notified when we upload new content and there she goes super pretty guys this came out beautifully oh my god y'all see that it's just gorgeous I love it. I love it. All right. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And until the next video, catch you on the next one.